Okay, welcome everyone. I'd like to call to order the GCCA Board of Directors meeting for January the 18th, 2018. I'm checking the real. Can this be I like yeah, that she's a board member. Yeah, Thank you. Okay, either side. Great, thanks. So, the first order of business is the introduction of the strong and the management side. We'll move up a little bit. Where's your phone back? Who was it? Right, Nicole. Thank you. I'm going to go closer. Nicole Shaffrey, I'm the President of Operations Manager. I'm going to go with the chance. Come on, come on. Come on, Jack. 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 Dorothy Vazia, General Manager. Justin Bank. I did somebody your phone number. Richard Vasquez, Director of Tower 1. Wade Weston, Director of Tower 3, President. Richard Vasquez, Director of Tower 3. Michael Kirko, Director, Tower 2. Richard Miller, Director, Tower 1. Okay, so the first order of business tonight is the approval of open meeting minutes for the November 16, 2017 and December 14, 2017. Motion to approve. Second. There was a motion made and seconded to approve the open minutes for the meetings for November 16 and December 14. All those, in, is there a discussion? All those in favor, raise your hand or say aye. Opposed? Abstentions? The motion carried. Uh, next is reports and remarks. First are the President's remarks. And I, I just like to go over a few things that are open and pending. Um, we have, we got the new laundry rooms up and running. There was some bumps, guaranteed. Um, it, it wasn't the smoothest of starts. I do think the reaction by Hercules was um, very proactive. They came in right away, they got it all straightened out. Um, there's some few signs, the only issue that I know they still have sending is some of the signs need to be consolidated. A couple small issues on that. Um, they were here over the weekend and on Monday. Um, to my knowledge, everything is up and running now. And also, um, I will tell you that it was in it will be announced, but there were some people at the first meeting last week who had lost some money on the machine, so Hercules um, agreed to grant all the residents a new $5 card, which will be issued to everyone at the front desk to make up for any monies that were lost, whether reported or not, so the easiest way is they just reset and issue their card. Um, in way of the lobbies that are currently under, under renovation, um, I know some people, there have been some discussion about decorations and things, and the furniture is what's rendered in the picture, and it's what was ordered, and will be delivered. There's some additional finishing that needs to take place there that was never done in the lobbies. Artwork that was proposed, that was never never purchased or put in place. Um, we'll be putting out some proposals on that for people to look at some things, get some ideas and some feedback. Um, so we will move forward with a few additional decorative finishes to bring back some of the color to the lobby and um, brighten it up a bit. Um, other than that, uh, we are going to have a busy couple weeks, a couple months coming up. Um, let's try to keep things going forward. We have a lot of projects at work currently that we will be moving forward on, and Dorothy will be speaking about that shortly. Um, and, and again, I encourage everyone to um, let us let's hear back from you. Uh, we are going to schedule a meeting next month. I'm um, going to sit down with the third owners meeting um, since, since we start, since this board has been seated with these officers, so we'll have an owners meeting. Um, and I would just tell you, in an effort to keep this off of the election, we won't have any candidates, whether seated on the board or running. Um, that way, we're just going to have all owners meetings, sit down and chat, and talk about where you guys want to see the, the, the community go, and no politics about you know, who's doing what, not who's doing it, but just give some feedback from the, the owners about where we are. We'll, we'll review some of the information that I gave you guys last month when we are on the R and R project scope that we talked about, um, put out there so we can have some conversation, conversation about. Um, 
And I'll, you'll see those updates in my board accounts so you can the update. And um, I'll get it out to you. We'll, we'll also do a rubber call like we usually do when it gets close to it. So we can go as soon as we're going to do that. Um, that's it for me for tonight. Um, next on the agenda is um, the treasurer control. Sean. Balance of the R and R account accounted for 4.7 million dollars, and the escrow account balance accounted for 1.7 million dollars. The available cash as of December 31st is 5 million dollars, approximately. I will now speak about accounts receivable. As of December 31st, accounts receivable was approximately 2.7 million dollars. Of the 2.7 million dollars, there are 2.6 million in legal. Uh, $77,000 in payable plans, payment plans, $34,000 in one month past due, $4,000 in two months past due, and $2,000 of over 60 days. We approximately had $397 payments made, uh, made payments through Condo Cafe this month. I will now speak about accounts payable. Accounts payable for December 31st, as of December 31st, 2017, was $1 million. This includes all invoices posted as December 31st and all known accruals. r and r invoices accounted for approximately $148,000. The breakdown of accounts payable includes 0 to 30 days of $700,000, 31 days to 60 days, $105,000, 61 to 90 days, $65,000, and over 90 days of approximately $100,000. $80,000. As of December 31st, there were 653, 653 owner occupants and 423 absentee owners. Of the 423 absentee owners, there were 358 occupied by tenants. The tenants account for about 33% of all GTCA units held. There was no substantial change from uh, our last conversation on November 30th, 2017. This concludes the financial report, and thank you. Any questions? Any questions for the board? Okay, great. Next on the agenda is the management report. Good. Good evening, Mr. President, directors of the board and Galaxy community. It is my pleasure to provide the management report for the month of January. Just a reminder that the New Jersey five-year uh, hotel and multi-dwelling inspection uh, has been scheduled for February. Inspection schedule per tower and floor will be distributed by the end of January. LED lights retrofit project is in progress with 60% of lights already installed. The stairwells and compactor rooms will be completed by the end of this month. A load test on the emergency generator was performed and necessary repairs completed as, a, as required. Fire stopping installation as required by fire code in all compactor rooms, staircases and electrical rooms were completed by a licensed electrician. AES, inspect, uh, AES uh, who's the, uh, one of our fire uh, contractors, inspected all the fire doors, smoke alarms and elevator recalls in all three towers. Installation of the new curtain fire damper started this week and will be completed by next Thursday. Jetting of all kitchen stack lines will commence in February. As you all know, um, you've been experiencing this issue with, uh, with so-called Black Fairy, and the purpose of the jetting of the lines is to prevent this incident from uh, happening again. Schedule for each tower will be distributed next week. ADA parking spots painting has been completed and all ADA required sites have been installed. Three spots require additional concrete work and repainting, therefore will remain closed until next Wednesday. Tower to lobby renovation will be completed tomorrow, Friday, January 19th, 
and Tower 3 lobby work uh, has already started. Installation of the new wallpaper will commence on Monday. Renovation of all three lobbies will be completed by the end of January. Uh, your second boiler, boiler number two, has been erected in place and uh, it's undergoing water testing. New boiler, uh, new burner has also been installed. Uh, and once uh, the inspection passed, we actually will be able to put uh, boiler number two into operations. Uh, tower two low, medium, and high, and high rise heat exchanges have been installed and uh, have been operating as of today. Tower three and tower one hot water heat exchanges are scheduled for replacement in the next two weeks and schedule uh, will be distributed uh, in the weekly updates. Installation of BAS system will commence once the internet wiring and connection is completed within the next two weeks. Um, we expect for the project to be fully completed within the next four to five weeks. Management, management has prepared one recommendation for your consideration and approval this evening. Staff seeks authorization to award a lease and maintenance agreement to building link for web-based services to facilitate communications, records, uh, records keeping and task tracking among the residents, board, employees and management. Staff also seeks authorization to purchase a module called Keylink consisting of proprietary hardware including key drawers, smart tags and all other necessary accessories to be used in conjunction with the building link for the purpose of securing, inserting, and removing and tracking of the keys. The terms of the agreement are as follows. Building link, annual subscription of the web-based building link program for 1,075 units. The annual cost is $22,950. And the final fee includes a 25% discount. So subscription will commence if approved on March 1st, 2018 and will expire on February 28th, 2019. Keylink one-time purchase cost for the required hardware consisting of key drawers, smart tanks, and accessories. Tower 1, 15,000. Tower 2, 17,250. And Tower 3, $12,000. As well as above connecting towers. Subscription and maintenance for the first year for the first year are included in purchase price. Additional subscription and maintenance fee will commence as, as of year two and will be as follows. Tower one two thousand, tower tower one two thousand, I'm sorry, tower two twenty three hundred and tower three sixteen hundred. Um, I know that most of you actually are familiar with building link. It is a, a great program. Um, currently, we're using a program called Connect, which is um, not as superior as Building Link, and management is limited as uh, to execution of certain tasks that we are hoping to achieve with Building Link. Uh, also, key, um, key system that we have is not providing us with the key security that we really desire. The new key tracking system, Killing, combines hardware, software, and biometric authentication to keep keys safe and staff accountable. What does not mean? Basically, if uh, anybody would want to remove a key, they would have to put their fingerprint in, and it will be automatically recorded. At any given time, that person will only be allowed to take one key at a time. So it's uh, one of the best security features, which will prevent from keys being misplaced or lost. Additionally, uh, Building Link offers an excellent package tracking. Uh, uh, package uh, uh, tracking. Um, you will be able to actually download an app on your phone and communicate with us more efficiently. All the work orders that you have, any emergency, you actually will be able to report directly through the program, and we will be able to track. So, for instance, if uh, you have a problem in your apartment that you would like to um, report to maintenance and open a work order. This will be automatically logged and we will be able to run reports daily, weekly, monthly and see how many uh, open work orders we have, uh, what those work orders are and how long uh, it took our maintenance staff to address them and what is still open. This will really help us to determine what kind of emergency and uh, work do we have on a daily basis. We have a lot of leaks, we have uh, a lot of different emergencies and we really want to get a better accounting of where the leaks are, what their cost. Uh, we do know that we have problems with some pipes and that will really allow us to determine uh, what lines 
and what rises uh, are most prone for, for emergencies. Uh, resident profiles, uh, visitor uh, permissions, uh, it's, it's going to be all automated, it's a great feature. Uh, document library, we do not have capability in Connect to do what we're going to be able to do with building link. Uh, I'm happy to report that we have already started digitalizing uh, all the documents and uh, we will be able to actually put them through and do download them to various systems for, for the residents and the board and management to see. Uh, so no more paper, pencil and binders. Uh, and then each reservations, we'll be able to track spa, uh, the spa lunch reservations and make sure that uh, we get the payments and um, things of that nature. Also, your guest will you will be able to actually uh, register your guest if you have a party and actually reserve uh, spa lunch. We will be able to provide you with parking and vehicle management that will avoid a lot of issues and just different management analysis that will really help us uh, to to track uh, what we're dealing with and put metrics uh, together that will help us to address various issues. Um, I know we've tried this before, uh, but this time uh, we really believe that we will be successful in implementing the system. Like I said, we've already started digitalizing all the documents and we do have the manpower to, um, to basically implement the system. So thank you, that includes my report. Yes, Richard Allen. Dorothy, uh, very glad to hear that you're anticipating starting a jetting program. I believe you said uh, kitchen lines first. Because I'm a big advocate that that has to be done. But obviously, this is a long-term project because it's more than kitchen lines. Uh, or it should be a long-term project. So, I guess you've been speaking to vendors. I believe the board should be approving the vendor, because this is not a one-time job, it's, it's, it's multiple. So I believe this is something the board should be approving. Not that, not that, uh, you, not that you don't make good decisions, but it's spending money that I believe is board responsible. Uh, well, Richard, as you know, everything goes in front of the board and you guys are approving every single contract agreements for a large. So we're actually meeting with three vendors next week and we're going over pricing, logistics, and schedule. Uh, I only pointed this out because Black Ferry is a big concern to the community and for those of you who don't know, uh, kitchen stock lines are mostly affected by the grease that residents discharge into the lines. So uh, step number one is actually to start with kitchen stock lines, yes, but absolutely we got, I'm actually going to have, like I always have my board item with all the pricing, for your recommendation uh, that you would need to approve before we are able to execute any more. Because this is just the first time I'm uh, hearing about it, that's why. That we decided to... You asked me to start on the project and I did. I uh, know, but I have a lot of wishes, Dorothy. If it was that easy, I'll ask for more. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. by plan and uh, FSR, previous management, that the key track is working properly. What is the problem with the current key track? Um, so I can't comment on, on the discussions that you had previously because now I wasn't part of those, uh, those meeting and discussions. But I can just tell you that comparing to uh, two system, key track does not give you ability to basically get a full control of what you're picking up. So basically you can open the box and take any key that you really want. There is no uh, report that it's being actually recorded and uh, we can run some sort of report to, set it, to see who at, at what time uh, logged in to remove the key. And once you open the box, you can remove multiple books and it's a huge safety issue. And uh, Keeling, unfortunately, gives us ability to track who at what time logged in and removed what key and if it was or it wasn't uh, returned. Yeah, because we spend money to update the software, we were told differently by, by management, and I understand building link is 
much better system. I agree with you, but the problem is previously we uh, had a contract with building link. We paid one year for building link, and but the management they didn't have the capability and the manpower to implement it. So we ended up to pay for one year, and then we had to stop, you know, book building link and not paying. So my question is. This start, if we approve that, do we have the manpower, do we have it, there's a guarantee that if we buy it, we can implement it and use it? Yes, so first of all, let me just mention that it wasn't easy to bring Building Link back to the Galaxy, uh, but I managed to do this. We also negotiated 25% discounts, and you know that they have over 6,000 buildings that they provide services for in New York and all over, and it's really a great system. Uh, and I've used it, and I compare it to uh, to Connect. I can just tell you from my experience, it's much more uh, superior, and it will allow us to do a lot more than we are doing right now. So, having said that, we've saved over three thousand dollars on the contract, and we'll be able to use that money for a temporary admin person, hopefully to actually start data entry, and we'll be able to execute this. And uh, the projection is that within thirty to sixty days, we should be up and running. We have a lot of records that really should be entered uh, in the library document under, under different apartments, uh, uh, alteration agreements, uh, certificates of insurance. We will be able to track all those documents. So yes, we, we are going to make this work. Yes. Yes, uh, thank you, Dorothy. Uh, Dorothy, I just want to compliment you. Uh, you've taken on so many different initiatives but uh, this one here is paramount. Security of the residents, their units, is uh, yeah, it's, it's very, very important. And it's just another item that you're taking on full, full speed and full steam. And uh, it's very important. I mean, the, I've seen the way, and we've got some realtors in the room, I've seen the way keys have gone out. And uh, there's no uh, safety whatsoever, uh, present systems. And, uh, Thank you. Good job. Thank um, you, Sebastian. Uh, Dorothy, um, a lot of our owners have complained about not only the system, but the people that are managing the system. Could you talk a little bit uh, about how you can integrate training and other human resource components into the improvements that you're talking about? Um. So the short version, because the long version we just discussed this past Monday for hours, uh, the short version, as, as far as uh, building link and killing is concerned, uh, we actually bring in building link, uh, if approved as of next week, to start training all of the staff members. We're going to start with admi uh, administration. It's not just one or two people, actually accounting will be involved. The, the ideal process is that once the first of all, we have to go through records. We have uh, we don't have great records, so we have to basically go apartment by apartment and see what we have and enter all of the information on the unit owners and their apartments. Like I said, it's from deeds, from sales, from lease agreements. So we know if somebody's renting their apartment, when the lease commences and when the lease ends. A certificate of insurance for the renters, for unit owners. Uh, things of that nature, alteration agreements, uh, keep track of work orders in one apartment. So uh, it, the training is uh, it's it's going to be provided for all the staff members, for um, all of us in the office, for accounting, for maintenance, uh, for data, for risk management, and uh, it's it's a it, the system is not difficult to operate. Uh, so I'm really confident that within the next 30 days we actually will be able to get a really good grasp on it. I personally used it for years. I know how to operate this. I know that Nick used it. We do actually have quite a few people in the office that already used it and are uh, somehow familiar with the system. Thank you. Director Miller. Uh, Dorothy, I'm not sure you mentioned this, but I just want to emphasize it again. When the key is removed from the key link, uh, it has the ability to send an email to the resident of the park. You sure we're going to have that, right? Because I know buildings in Manhattan have it. Well, that and that, if the person doesn't recognize that they 
gave anybody authority to ask for the key, that'll at least send up the red flag. So right. we're going to have this. So just to make this clear, we do not have this ability right now with Connect. We so are going to have this with Building Link. And yes, we are purchasing all the latest technology that the Building Link offers for us. They also will come in and, and provide some uh, training and overview for the residents that will be scheduled uh, so that way you will be know how to open the app, what to do, but it's very, very easy. We're also going to have instructions that we're going to be releasing. So the training is not just for the staff, but also for the unit owners as well. So it sounds like I feel much more positive, definitely, that we're going to be able to handle it this time. I give you my word. Okay. Uh, and one last thing, I remember that one of the difficulties that the previous management mentioned was that it was difficult for them to transfer the data from public to business. So just uh, I want to mention it to look into that. We already did. Uh, we looked into how we're going to do this. We actually uh, already evaluated all your existing computers, making sure that we will be able to install the software so we are ahead of time. Everything was finalized. So uh, having said that, you cannot just dump data from connecting to building. Connect is a very complicated system. Uh, but that's why we would need to go manually and basically and the data apartment by apartment. And that's why it's going to be time consuming. But with the right assistance, we should be able to do this within 30 to 60 days. And I, I just have one last question. Our, there's no overlap in the contract, correct? In other words, key track expires and then I'm going to be a short overlap. Key track expires in 29 days. So we really need to move on. So, yes. And the last thing, I just wanted to touch on something that you brought up that, um, that we sorted to come together that I, I'm very, the very good, I think everyone here should feel very good that within the next two weeks, all the ARs and PRs will be digital. The, the um, notebooks will no longer be valid. They'll still be there for backtrack and to double check, but everything has been entered and we will have digital record of all of our resolutions and, and um, ARs and PRs. Uh, Dorothy, we'll be doing uh, beta testing and to make, it, make sure that the data dumps are reconciled. We can dump the data because two systems are not compatible, but yes, that's why we're going to physically going through all the records and entering them, you know, line item by line item per apart, you know, apartment by apartment. But it will, the way that things are right now, I mean, we have to go to 10 different places and 20 different binders to try to find information going back to 1980s. With that system, if we transfer all the data electronically, it will. We don't have to run to different apartments. We wouldn't have to try to find binders. It would definitely be a lifeline for us and will save us a lot of time. Sure. Okay. Yes. Just I want to thank you, Dorothy, for your report. Uh, I want to uh, comment on the boiler system. Uh, I'm very happy to hear the progress of all mortgages as, as planned, and we really haven't had any major hiccups. Uh, it's very uh, reassuring knowing that you're, you're taking charge of all these major projects that you walked into and you're literally in the uh, bar one at a time. Thank you very much. Um, I have one question about the building link. Um, do I have your assurance that the televisions and the lobbies will work after we do this? Uh, well, that's something I cannot confirm because I don't know how the television sets were installed. I, I appreciate but exactly, I, I always, appreciate always. Honor. But having said that, building links actually we will be finally able to use monitors in the lobby. So if those that we already installed do not work, we'll definitely proceed with the right ones to install. But I don't know how they were installed. This is this is technicality that uh, we need to look into. I appreciate your honesty. Thank you very much. <laughs> Any other comments on the matter? Now we're moving on to the next item on the agenda, which is the unfinished business. First under that would be 4.1, the election rules. Um, there was some discussion, and I believe Richard, you had some. Yes, I want to make a motion to amend the 2018 election rules. Um, room numeral seven, campaign rate. Uh, small letter B, subsequent mailing. So I want to amend it 
to um, change the date on the second mailing. It's, it's presently said um, February 9th, Friday, February 9th. We had already agreed in a working session when we went over the rules to make it the 12th, but we have to approve it in the uh, open session. So I'm making a motion to change the date on February 9th to Monday, February 12th. So the motion was made to extend the second mailing date from February the 9th, which is Friday. Um, just for a little point of clarification, that's the day after, the following, two days after the um, cannabis night, to extend it to the following Monday. Is there a second? The motion was made and seconded. Is there any discussion? I, I, have, I have discussion. Um, the board of directors had voted on this. And we had said that we would make changes if they were needed to be. Um, I believe that the board directors had dropped the ball on this in a, in a time fashion because of all the candidates that were already signed, the election rules, the election ballots have already been sent down to everyone. Everybody would be on the same page. But if we were willing to go back and change the rules, I would amend the rules to remove the word excluded from where the coordinator can actually disqualify one of the candidates if they felt that they blatantly broke the rules. Because that was one of the rules that we also said that we were going to change. So if we're going to go back and start changing the rules, we should go back and look at all the rules that we said we were going to change, not just one. That's my, my comment. Yes, sir. Hey. <clears throat> voted on election rules, we voted subject to further discussion because we never got a chance to discuss it. So it was subject to the discussion and make necessary changes to the rules. So that is why we are suggesting these changes. He's running. You are running. So what do you... Yes. So let me understand what you're saying, Justin. You're saying that you want to give the coordinator absolute authority over uh, the decision that the owners have made for a candidate so that the one person can disqualify someone that the owners want to represent them. Is that what you're saying? My suggestion is that the way that election rules were written says... No, no, I'm asking you a direct question. Are you saying to give one person authority over the will of the ownership. Well, I don't believe that's the will of the ownership, though. We elected to... They picked the candidate. Let, they me, picked let the me finish, candidate. please, Richard. Let me finish. You asked me a question, I, and I, I'll answer you. And first. you are running. We, Shame on you. We, we, gave, we gave the election coordinator, we hired, we elected to outsource the election for the first time to an outside election coordinator that has no bearing on anyone in this galaxy. They don't live here, they don't know any of us, they have nothing to do with us. And if someone blatantly breaks these rules because they want to be in a power, because you don't get paid to do this. This is nothing, this is no, you don't get paid. You, you give up your free time to come and work hard for the benefit of the community. And if you're willing to cheat, to lie, or do something that is breaking that established rules, I believe there should be some kind of consequences. And any person that doesn't, is willing to blatantly break the rules doesn't deserve to be on the board of directors. So someone should have that say. And one is and you. Richard is decide. There's a motion on, there's a motion on the table and we're talking about another issue. Especially from a candidate. There's a motion on the table. Call the question. He's the question running for an election. I understand that. The question can only be called when everyone has a chance to speak. Okay? So, if anyone he, who is not... He cannot make speak, rules that he's running. Feeney, Feeney. We're talking about a different Richard, issue, Wayne. Richard, you call let him make question. it. Let, let him you make a motion. Then. I, I agree. There was discussion back and forth between two people who were recognized. Okay? Let's keep this in a deep conversation. Right. There was a... Not, it should have. Sorry, wait. Not personal. 
It it's not personal. It I'm asking you stopped. to follow the rules that okay, everyone's supposed but, to follow. Yeah, okay, you were recognized. Wait, okay, then wait, please. You follow the rules. Excuse me, nothing personal. That That's not the question we're talking about. Okay. He has to be recognized to speak. He has turned to speak. Then let him make a motion. Let him make a motion. But I guess you've already spoken. Richard Vasquez, do you want to? Uh, Justin, I heard what you said. Um, I, I believe that everybody has a right to have an opinion. Um, I think in terms of materiality, pushing the question that we were discussing was whether to give the candidates an opportunity a little bit more time after the debate to respond to the issues raised in the debate. I think that's the issue at hand. And not whether to or not to uh, give somebody absolute authority over an election, which we've already established uh, as a board, uh, we didn't want. Okay, but the question has been called, Justin, you've already had the opportunity to speak. So the question has been called. Um, if anyone does not have the opportunity to speak, now is your last opportunity before we call for the vote, the question has been called. So the amendment, the current amendment to the voting rules is to change the second ruling date from February the 9th to February the 12th. All those in favor of changing, making the amendment, raise your hand and say aye. All those opposed? Thank you. All those abstaining? The motion carried. Um, Justin, you brought up a point that you want to make a motion on that, or? No, but I, I think that he, before, now, even that you guys made a motion no to discussion. change the election rules after, after the, after the, What's there? after the election, I, I would feel very strongly that the board should seek counsel through the uh, independent coordinator before they go out and changing the election rules after the election had started. I'm not in favor of it. I didn't say we, we I didn't we say that we should I didn't say that we should change the rules. I said if you were gonna go back and change one rule, you we'll, go back and look at we'll how many rules no. we said we were gonna change, we're only signaling out one rule. There was two lists of rules that we that we said we should have changed. So we're only singling out one rule to change one rule without the election coordinator even being notified. Okay, I'm not saying, I'm not saying it could favor me, it could favor me or not favor me, it doesn't really matter. Just what I'm trying to say is we should is like that motion. Okay. So then we're moving to the next next item on the agenda. Uh, first, I have another motion. Sure. Okay. Is this regarding the election rules, Richard? Yes. Yes, we're not done with this yet. I make a motion to amend page 8, 11E of the um, election rules. It reads now, list, list, list of members for candidates. It currently reads, at a candidate's request, management shall provide the candidate with a mailing list of all members in the GTCA and make a motion to amend that to provide the candidate with a mailing list or labels uh, at the candidate's request. Is there a second? There's a second. Is there a discussion? No discussion. All those in favor, raise your hand and say aye. Opposed? Abstain? The motion carried. Richard, did you have any yes, else? I have one more. I make a motion to amend to uh, make a motion to amend uh, the 2018 election rules, page two. Uh, Roman numeral seven, campaigning, um, to uh, number E, small letter E, at candidates night to add candidates attack candidate questions as we previously had one minute question and time for a two minute answer. This was eliminated. Uh, may I speak on it? Has to be said. It has to be seconded before we open for discussion. Okay. So the motion was made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Um, we can ask the um, election coordinator on this because the election coordinator runs candidates' night so that the board 
uh, suggests this. And I highly recommend that we do this. Because without this, it was eliminated a few years ago, you have homeowner questions. Well, the way candidates night works, a lot of people know. Uh, the candidate will give an opening statement, a closing, closing statement. They can get that from the, uh, from the flyer. Then homeowners ask questions. That's very good, but it doesn't give the sense how the candidates will interact when they get on the board. So that's why I'm recommending that we change the um, election rules to allow for candidate to candidate question. Is there any further discussion? Uh, I remember we had that before, but honest ballot changed it last year, and it, 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 it wasn't good. The candidate night wasn't good. The, the candidates they didn't get opportunity to ask questions from one another. They are also homeowners. They might have questions from one another. And uh, even at that time, a lot of people, they complained and they told that previous procedures that we had was far better than last year. And that was the change that was made by uh, Honest Pass. Okay, so um, the motion was, is there any further discussion? If there's no further discussion, all those in favor, raise your hand or say aye. Opposed? Abstentions? It passes. Uh, let me know that these, these, all these changes will be forwarded to the um, to council tomorrow for approval and review. Um, right. Since he is the one executing this, because we gave him a set of election rules, which he, which we paid him a contract to execute, so it will be up for his review. Um, Mr. Mayor, Mr. the next is new business, five point one. Sorry, can we let yeah. go ahead? I'm sorry, just because there's side conversations that nobody can hear. So. Okay, what happened was that we were discussing another committee. So we were talking about the spot. Committee. We're this resolution in particular is about a spot, right? I would, I would like to. No, I'm, I'm very much in support of the spot. I was in discussion, it was never second. So, no, no, was no, discussion. The motion was second, and there was no discussion. I'm in support of the spot. Okay, so yeah. we're, the motion was seconded. Mary, you have a second recorded. I, have I, I, I just have a discussion on this. I just wanted to clarify. I'm sorry. Oh, one second. One question. I, Did you? I, I have the original motion in second. Correct. Okay. Okay. Now she amended it. She yeah, I have the motion. I put the motion to table. Now that now there was, wait, the, the motion was made to amend the, to table it. The motion was made to table. So now, is there a second to table? Yeah, no, my, my, my discussion is basically, basically on what committee does she want to send it to? Okay, but we need, a table, we need a second in order to discuss. So is there a second to table the motion? Second. Okay, so Miller second. I just want to, now we have discussion. Now it's open for discussion on tabling. Correct. Discussion on tabling. We have been discussing committees for months and to come up with after we went through all this work with getting these things written to come to the board of directors open session and for the first time to say table this to send this back to the committees for their review from a board member whose husband is sitting as a co-chair of the committee she wants to table i don't believe this is fair to the home ownership we've been holding back these committees for a long time i, don't, I can't see how we can table this going forward I, I, I don't think, I, I honestly can't believe this is even happening in open session. Right? Yes, Richard Vestage. Okay, Justin, yes, yes, you know, I, I think we bet should, as a board, act professionally in that comment on personalities. It's not a personality, it's fact. That was a little fact. So, what does that have to do with that the was price fact. of fact. Justin, Justin. Attacking okay. her personally like that. The issue, the issue that we have to discuss is whether or not we table, not our husband. But putting that aside, putting that aside, the issue um, of tabling, uh, is the action on the SPA committee, if I'm, I'm correct? That, that is the current motion. Okay. Um, I, I, I have to say that we have been discussing the committee issues for a long time. And 
I, 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 there, there are issues regarding different committees, but on this one, on those issues, I think we have, we're going one committee at a time. On the SPA committee, I feel that we should move on, make our decision, and if we support the SPA committee, then we should establish it, and then they will then have the power to start acting on the issues that they feel are important. So, that's... Uh, Richard, no. Is this on table tabling motion? If that's what we're discussing right now. No, my meeting to move on. My position, therefore, is not to table. What you, uh, I, I, what I heard is you made a motion to table this, this AR. No. And that, that was the motion. Yes, my, yes, my, my motion is since none of these ARs to go in this committee, it hasn't gone to the committee. Let's table it, send it to the committee, get their input, and then we got a vote on that's, that's, no, that's what we understood. Everyone understood that. So, Richard, come on, let's. Do you have just on table? Because it's getting late and we need to respect everyone's time. Sure. I agree on tabling, but for another reason. Four of these um, uh, amended ARs, new ARs, we didn't get until yesterday at 5 13 p.m. I have questions about it. I'm not going to take everybody's time up now. Yes, we've been discussing it for months and months, but we just got the final version yesterday. I think the board owes it to itself. As much as I'd like to get on with this, we need to have a proper discussion on this. Because it's not only SPA committee, the social and cultural committee, the seniors committee, parents committee, we, we, we got was previous to this. But there's several comments and issues. I'm not going to take up the time now. The board has to speak about it and take extended time. Okay. So it's not fair to the process. We've come this far to rush it through, and we only got four okay. of them yesterday at 5 15 p.m. As a point of order, those were the corrections that we made. These were given to the board on December 6th. This is the final version was the several. Oh, this is the several. Uh, uh, those are some changes that the board made. December the 6th was the first time it was distributed. December the 11th, it was given to the board. So, in, in a point, that is, that is documented. I have the agendas. I have the. All, I have all that right here if you need it, Richard. But after seeing the final version, we never had a chance to discuss it. Is okay, so that's what a board is for? A board is to. You have working sessions to discuss it. I want to move on also. We have bigger issues to deal with, but let's do it right after taking all this time. Um, the SPA committee is an existing committee. It's been around a long time. And um, my understanding that this, unless I'm incorrect, um, that this committee already, they just need to be empowered to continue to do Am I correct in that? They had a meeting yesterday. Right, okay, so this just basically legitimizes what they're doing already, right? So um, in that sense, I mean, there's a new committee here that I have issues with, but the, I mean, that we need, to, I, I believe we do have to take this. But other than that, I think that if it's already established, so, so here, you know, it, it's just that if it's already established and they're already working towards it, you know, their work and their objectives. Um, I think we have to, you know, try to empower them at this point so that they can move on with their work. And I think that one of the, the, the one of the, the, the concerns that I have is that by keeping them in this um, limbo, so to speak, they won't be able to give us the input and interact you know, and, 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 and do what they're supposed to do. They don't give it to us anyway. Yes. Okay. You know, there are certain new things in this AR. For example, uh, that I have got, uh, you know, uh, I have got some comments, and I'd also like to hear from the SPA members or any other committees, the, uh, the social committee or other committees that we are discussing. What, what is their opinion on that? Uh, for example, it, it says that the, the 
chair, the chair and coaches in very big in the room, okay? After the big council, we got rid of the executive council, the mechanism for committee coordination uh, was done away with, and there is no method for committee coordination included in these ARs. So this is, for example, another point that I'd like to discuss. There is one more point, when and how, how often do the chairs they meet with the board? Now there is no executive council, and it says if they meet with the board, only one coacher can meet with the board. Why not? Both, of, both coaches are allowed to meet with the board. So there are new things that I think is only fair that we get the input and the opinion of the committee. Is there any further discussion? Right now, we are, the motion is to table or not. So, that being said, all those in favor of tabling, raise your hand and say aye. So, so two in favor of those opposed to table. Abstention. Yeah, opposed to table. Abstention is one abstention. The motion to table fails. Next is a motion to pass. Resolution AR number nine. The motion has been made and seconded, so any discussion? This is the motion. We're talking about the motion. We just made the motion. We had discussion about whether we were table it or not. Now we're voting on the same resolution. Is there any further discussion? If Is there any other discussion? Without any further discussion, those in favor of, of, of passing of, of AR number 9, raise your hand or say aye. Opposed? Abstentions? The motion carried. So in order to respect everyone's time, we need to part of this whole exercise of these ARs was to consolidate them. So the, um, the verbiage in all of them is the same except for the duties. So I don't want everybody to sit listen to four pages of the same thing, four more things. So we will just, in an effort to expedite, we will read the resolution number and skip just to the duties, Justin, because that's the only thing that changes. I make a motion uh, to establish administrative resolution number eight, establishment of the social and cultural committee um, with all the same verbiage for, as the prior and resolution number nine with the differences of duties, the primary responsibility of the Social and Cultural Committee is to advise and assist the board developing and operating social and cultural programs and presentations for all eight groups and interests. The committee shall annually submit a calendar by December 1st of the year preceding the subject calendar year with the general description of planned events and the estimated cost for board approval and fulfilling its responsibilities Committee shall perform functions that include, but are not necessarily limited to, the following: Gen generally organizing, promoting, coordinating, and otherwise assisting in operations of community social and cultural programs, organizing, promoting, and conducting seasonal and special interest parties, dances, and other social events, organizing, promoting, and conducting trips to the theater, restaurant, sport sport events, etc. Arranging lectures, classes, trips, and other group events for residents who wish to see, hear, or participate in events relative to the reading of fine arts areas for the purpose of this resolution. The term reading and fine arts shall mean and refer to the following activities. Reading, painting, sculpture, seminars, music listening, musical performance, photography, drama, and theatrical dance. The committee shall perform such other functions and take such other responsibilities as may be directed or approved by the board. And the motion is made as a second. The motion is made as a second. Is there any discussion? I would like to table the motion for the same reason. I would like to get the input from the uh, committee members, uh, from the social committee members. And 
uh, also I have other points that I need to have taken this to be discussed. So the motion was made to table. Is there a second? There's a second. Is there any further discussion? Yes, I, I After thinking about it and listening to Sohila and reading over a few things, I think this, just for an opinion, should go to the committees because we're reducing the number of committee members to eight, and I believe a lot of them are 11 members. It was done for a reason. So it should go to the committee members, come back to us and tell us why eight is no good and it should be 11 or 10 or something else. I'm, I know we discussed it, but we have here if somebody misses four consecutive meetings. All of them say that. I'm not sure that it should be four meetings. You need a lot of uh, I, I don't know at this point. This was on tabling. This was for tabling. This is just about tabling. The reasons why I want to table it and why I hope my fellow board members will vote in this way. I have to give a reason. So I'd like to hear from all the committees about number of members and how many meetings are consecutive that they're going to uh, that they're going to give their opinion on. Then I have a problem with one or two of the others. Also. We're all talking about tabling this motion right now. So any other discussion? Those in favor of tabling, raise your hand and say aye. Those opposed to tabling. They also want to take it for the vote. Those in, those in favor of passing administration resolution number nine for the staff of the Social and Cultural Committee. I'm sorry, they're great. Yes. Um, those in favor, raise your hand and say aye. Okay. Uh, in, in that resolution, there are new rules that require some committees to submit a program and budget to the board for approval in December of each year. Other committees do not have this requirement placed on, on that. Rules for all committee events and budget should be uniform. Uh, and, uh, and we have to note that the Galaxy budget for the following year is approved before December. So I think it's unfair that we just put it on social committee that they have to come up with the calendar, they have to come up with the budget, they might maybe they ask for a draft, but having getting asking them to come up with the calendar is kind of unfair and you don't have that for senior committee or for parents committee. Yes, I think that it's um, a little counterproductive if we're gonna see in the same breath that we didn't have any have this prior and have time to review and all that and if we have enough time to go through each one of them and pull out what was the matter with them and then do it in open session. It just seems extremely counterproductive to the board of directors. We have so many things that we're trying to do. This place is crumbling. We have we have so many projects that are down the pipeline. And we're gonna sit here and have a table of committee meeting. Uh, I, this is just sounds it sounds ludicrous to me. I just can't understand. If this was the case, why can't we just approve all these and then send it to the committees, let them look at it and give, bring it back? What's the big deal? Why are we wasting everybody's time? I don't understand. We've been stonewalling this for a long time. I don't understand. This is just everybody's waste of time. Richard, no? Um, Justin, it's either taking our time at the open meeting, so homeowners can see the kind of We discussed this in closed meetings for the first Justin, 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 I don't know about you. I like to read a final document and then see. Yeah, since and December 11th, you've got notes all over the place. You've got notes over here. What are we talking about? We, we can Justin, 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 I don't want to rush in. Anything. Richard Vasquez. We're all talking about table in it. Um, no, I'm sorry. We're going to the table. We're not table. Right. Oh, okay. Look, you know, it, it, it's not about... There's no such thing as taking too much of my time, personally, because my time belongs to the owners. And your time belongs to the owners. We're all here because we got voted in by... The owners. You sound like and, a politician, though. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, but this is this is sincere because well well you know a lot of us sacrificed a lot of our time and and our effort 
And whether we agree or disagree, and some of us, you know, vehemently disagree. And, you know, and there are colleagues that I have here that I've agreed and disagreed based on my convictions. But in order to make a good decision, we need to have information. And the feelings of people and how they see things are important just then. You know, even you, you know, I, I don't mind, you know, I, I know that you believe in what you believe, but, but that's important for me to know. You know, and I've agreed with you even, you know, and I've disagreed with you. So I don't believe it's right for any member of the board to say that we're wasting anybody's time when it comes to the interest of the owners. Is this the Actually, I, I, this, is, this is the way, first of all, we, have, we received these uh, ARs, that is true, but we never discussed it on the uh, working session. We didn't have we had it. We had it. We had it on agenda and it was cancelled. And we didn't discuss it. And this is how the homeowners should see that who is reading these ARs, who is not reading this, they may see the documents and how we vote on uh, various issues. I mean, I don't want, I mean, I cannot even believe that how we extended the Hazard contract without basically discussing it in, in, or reading or everybody read the contract. But and this is on. the problem. And I don't think it's, it's wrong sure. as any of us to want the homeowners to know how we are basically working on issues. Any other discussion? Yes. I call the question. The question has been I called. Mean, and I, mean, I was. You, you have spoken, Richard. The question was called. But you looked at me and I was about to say it when you called the question. <laughs> the question I has been called. <laughs> Call the question of Justin next time. So, the question has been called. Um, everyone has had a chance to speak. Richie has not spoken. He's good. So, the question has been called, so the vote will be taken. All those in favor of passing administration resolution number eight, raise your hand and say aye. All those opposed? All those abstaining? The motion carries. Policy resolution number 47, establishment of the committee of the community committee. With the same verbiage as prior to it. With the with changes to the duties, the primary responsibility of the committee is to advise and assist the board in developing and improving the overall appearance and maintenance of the common property. In fulfilling its responsibilities, the committee shall submit for each project it identifies a general description and projected cost for consideration to the board. The committee shall perform such other functions and take such other responsibilities as may be directed or approved by the board. What committee was this? This is a new committee. It's community community. Committee's resolution of 47. So, is there a second? The motion was made to to pass. Is there a second to pass? The motion has been made and seconded. Is there any comment? I have a discussion. I would like to let the homeowners know, just for us reading what this resolution is, number 47, to prove to you the hours of time the board of directors has put into the consideration for the committees. We broke it down to a molecular level and built it back up try to cut that way any fat that we could and streamline it to make it easier for future purposes. We also consolidated the committees because you'd have committees with two or three members on it and nobody even uh, nobody even meets. A lot of these committees never even never even seen a meeting. This community committee meeting uh, co community committee is um, actually what? Yeah it's actually multiple committees put together for a better for, for, for the council. So nobody's trying, I'm not saying that we're wasting the homeowner's time on the committees. What I'm trying to tell you is waiting for an open board session to try to table these committees and making the homeowners come down here and watch us bicker over tabling something that we already had prior to this meeting. When we were downstairs, we could have talked about it downstairs for an hour and a half. And then we wait to come upstairs to for an audience with a camera and to say that we haven't discussed this is actually horrible for the homeowners. I'm not saying I'm 
we're wasting anybody's time, we're wasting our time. Well, what, that's exactly what we're doing by tabling something in open session that we could have resolved prior to it. Can you just say the purpose of the committee? We couldn't hear. Yes. The duties of the committee, the primary response. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, the papers got a little shuffled here before. This was the one that I was actually speaking of. I, I mean, for us to go and have a conversation, we've been talking about making changes with the committees for six months. So at the 11th hour, to go and say that, you know, you want to table this or table that, I, I don't understand that. But this one here is a new committee. All right, this one here, I, I just received it. I have to be honest, and this one's very new to me. But I, will you please, I'm just you know, I ain't got the facts. I got the facts. So anyhow, I appreciate it. Anytime. Thank you, thank you. But this one here, I mean, my concern with this one here is that, and I, I, I explained it before, I was obviously, we're talking about a different committee, but this one here in particular, uh, we, we are doing so many different projects right now. I mean, God damn, just, I'm amazing. I gotta tell you, you really, you are tackling so many different tasks. But this one here is to go to establish uh, another committee to go and give us additional jobs, additional tasks to perform. And I'm, I'm confused because there are some, there are some tasks that we really have to get off the ground before we even look at additional ones, and especially. The, the, uh, the ladies' locker room structures. But um, this one here, I, I really would like to be, be able to review this one because this one here is our future. This one here is something that we, we really have to look at. And, and maybe you're onto something here with, with this is going to be combining a lot of different committees. But I, I just had the opportunity to, to look at this one for the first time. The, the other committees, what we talked about, we've been talking about for six months. And, and it's time we put that to bed. But this one here, I, I, I'd like to take a pause on myself. Richard Vasquez. Uh, can I make a motion to table this? Absolutely, you can make a motion to table. The motion's been made to table. Is there a second? The motion's been made to second to table. Those in favor of tabling this motion? Raise your hand or say aye. Opposed? Since the motion carries this resolution is tabled. What did it do? <laughs> what did it, Justin, seriously, can you just say what the purpose was? I mean, you're all talking, but we don't know what it's, you're talking about. This is a, this is a, it was tabled, it's not in motion, it's not carried, it's a new But it will this be one day. No, we can discuss later. We can't discuss later. Not this is important. So the next item on the agenda is um, other new business. I believe management has three items that we need to approve that we have approved in closed, but to ratify it open. Excuse me. We skipped a few committees here. Yeah. Seniors committee, parents committee. Unless you want to do it. Did you give it in line? No, they were not. I did not receive the Okay, so they're not. We have only. We actually got about a week ago. You got them a week ago, but they weren't in the final package that was sent today. It's not in my final package. So we will go we'll visit them next time because it's not in my package. Well, they're not on the agenda because it's, it was distributed to the board, but it's not in the in the package for approval. So we don't need to table them until we bring them. Make a motion to award a uh, award a lease and maintenance agreement to building link for webway based services to facilitate communication, records keeping, and task tracking among the residents, board, employees, and management. Staff also seeks authorization, I mean, uh, for a building link annual subscription of the web based building link program for 1,075 units for $20,950. The final fee includes a 25% discount. The subscription will commence on March 1st, 2018. Will expire on February 28, 2019. The motion was made. Oh. And uh, and wait, also the same motion for Keyling, um, one time purchase for the required hardware consisting of key drawers, smart tags, and accessories, um, and a subscription. Uh, for Tower 1, it's 15000 For Tower 2, 17250 For Tower 3, it's 12000 uh, including um, the, the connecting, connecting buildings. 
Subscription and maintenance for one year is included in the purchase price. Annual subscription and maintenance fee will commence as of a, a two-year Tower 1, 2000, Tower 2, 2300, Tower 3, 6, 1600. The motion was made to approve the building and purchases are second. Why deep and maintenance on each building? We all just, opinion. we'll discuss it later. This okay. is the other thing, okay. so, yes. There's a second, the motion to make a second on the purchase of the building link. I have, I have, I have, a, discussion. I have a small discussion on here. So, why the difference in the prices for the town? Is that because of the table, because they were connecting buildings a longer on one side than the other? Okay, that's what I figured. Thank you. Yes, Richard Miller. Yeah. I think it's not only the connecting building, but uh, the size of each tower is different. So there's more keys uh, needed for each tower. So that's just to fill you in. Uh, yeah, no, I know it's because the number four is large, larger yeah. than number five. <coughs> right. So anyway, then you have five. Um, I think it, now I actually have to, forgot what I was going to say about this. We've had extended discussion on this uh, when Dorothy was. Uh, gave her report. So I don't think there's really anything extra to add. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Raise your hand and say aye. Mike? Yes. All those opposed? The motion carries your hand. Um, I make a motion to award a contract to Evco Mechanical to replace three vestibule steam heaters, one per tower. Contract will disconnect the existing equipment and control new equipment to provide three new thermostats and test all equipment for the total of 28,000. How much? Which, which is these heaters? 28,000. Three bids, three bids were obtained. Evco Mechanical for 28,000. Bogush Mechanical for 28,500. And Universal for 32,450. A little bit of background, the existing system has exceeded its useful life expectancy and no longer works. There is no heat in the lobby vestibule. Excuse me. Yes, the motion was made. Is there a second? The motion has been made and seconded. Now discuss it, Richard. I don't know what's going on here. Again, we need heat in those vestibules. I don't remember this at all. What is this, like another board that dis discusses these things? Hmm. We never discussed this. Did, I, did anybody, so here, anybody remember this being discussed? No, I, I keep this, this needed there. This is a line item on the, on the yeah, list, right. on the list of projects. You know, yeah, but you can, but you certainly question. can. It is not right to just spring it in the open session. We have it's a, a, it's a, a critical, critical. It's a critical. We, I, we discussed this in the order. We had an agenda session uh, Monday. If that session is not long enough, then we should, we should certainly extend it. But it is not right to do it just in the open session just like this. These heaters haven't been working for a long time. We and tried to do it in closed session. We, we, went, sir, uh, Justin, wait. we didn't discuss this. Let him yes. talk. It is not right to do this. What is there? Who, who decided to do this? You had a motion already prepared here. So did you have a meeting with uh, some other board to decide to do this? I, 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 I agree we, excuse me, I agree we need heat in those vestibules. But there's alternate ways to get heat there that we've never discussed. So how much is it for each vestibule? And how are you doing? It's 28,000 for the total. No, listen, there is... It's the lowest sugar out of three. There's additional way, and what is that going to do? Those heaters that are on the top? You can do it cheaper. Excuse me, I can't hear what the audience talk. What exactly, of how is the vestibule going to be heated? I'm sorry if I couldn't concentrate on it. I was so floored that this came about all of a sudden. So I didn't probably, could you, could the motion be repeated? Motion to award a contract to Evco Mechanical to replace three vestibule steam heaters, one per tower. Contractor will disconnect the existing equipment Install new equipment, provide three new thermostats, and a test 
all equipment. For a total of 28,000, there were three bids obtained. One from Evco Mechanical for 28,000, Bogush Mechanical for 28,500, and Universal for 32,500. This, the, existence, the existing system has exceeded its useful life expectancy and no longer works. This is no absolutely wrong. You have bids here. I never had a chance to review wait, wait, any of them. It's wait, absolutely wait, wrong. Wait, wait, and homeowners, homeowners, wow. wow. homeowners, I hope you see what's going on here. Okay, because they are speaking here. A lot of people know uh, the tender will give an opening statement and closing, closing statement. They can get that from the uh, from the flyer. Then homeowners ask the question. That's very good, but it doesn't give the sense how the candidates will interact when they get on the board. So that's why I'm recommending that we change the um, election rules to allow the candidate to candidate question. Is there any further discussion? Uh, I remember we had that before, but honest ballot changed it last year, and it. it it wasn't good, the candidate rights wasn't good, the, the candidates didn't get opportunity to ask questions from one another. There are also homeowners, they might have questions from one another, and uh, even at that time, a lot of people, they complained and they told that previous procedures that we have was far better than last year. And that was the change that was made by uh, honest Okay, so, the motion was, is there any further discussion? If there's no further discussion, all those in favor, raise your hand, shall I? Opposed? Abstentions? It passes. Uh, let me know that these, these, all these changes will be forwarded to the, um, to council tomorrow for approval and review, um, yeah. since he is the one executing this, because we gave him a set of election rules, which he, which we paid him a contract to execute, so it will be up for his review. Um, the next is new business, 5.1. Is the committee. So there are six resolutions for committees. The purpose of this is just to um, reestablish the AR. The first one we saw previous AR resolution numbers. These were the committees that were approved by the board. Um, each one is, this is just approving the resolution for the committee. Um, and we would seek more members of the committee. Um, <clears throat> sorry, so this, do you have the motion, Brandon? Uh, motion for administrative resolution Revocation of administration res revolution number resolution number three four five seven thirteen twenty seven twenty eight thirty thirty one thirty three thirty four and forty three and resolution establishing beautification committee and disbanding of certain committees by the board of directors galaxy towers whereas article five section one b of the association bylaws that authorized the board to create appoint members to and disband such committees as the board deems appropriate. And whereas the board has determined that the Galaxy Lifestyles Committee, Galaxy Elections Committee, Budget and Finance Committee, Rules Committee, Government Affairs and Owners Mobilization Committee, Internet Committee, Video Committee, Facilities Advisory Committee, Safety Advisory Committee, Garage Safety Committee, Financial Advisory Committee, and the Regional Property Development Response Committee and the Beautification Committee are no longer necessary to aid the board and its work and enable members of the association to contribute towards the welfare and lifestyles of the Galaxy owners' residents. And whereas the aforesaid committees, other than the beautification committee, were formed respectively pursuant to administration, administrative resolution number three, adopted October 20, 2005, number four, adopted March 2, 2006, number five, adopted June 7, 1984, number seven, adopted June 7, 1984, Number 13 adopted January 15, 2015. Number 27 adopted February 13, 2003. Number 28 adopted October 9, 2003. Number 30, number, th number 30 adopted February 7, 2002. Number 31 without a date. Number 33 dated November 19, 
November 19, 2009, number 34, dated February 19, 2012, number 43, dated September 19, 2013. And whereas the Beautification Committee was formed by an administrative resolution without number adopted in 2015, and whereas the, another ride committee has operated without an authorization resolution of the board, and whereas the board has determined that the another ride committee is not necessary to aid the board in its work. Now, therefore, be it resolved that as administrative resolution number 3, 4, 5, 7, 13, 27, 28, 30, 31, 33, 34, and 43, and the beautification resolution, as they may have been revised from time to time, are hereby revoked as of the effective date of this resolution. And be it further resolved that the Galaxy Lifestyles Committee, Galaxy Elections Committee, Budget and Finance Committee, Rules Committee, Government Affairs, and Owners Mobilization Committee, Internet Committee, Video Committee, Facilities Advisory Committee, Safety Advisory Committee, Garage Safety Committee, Financial Advisory Committee, the Regional Property Development Response Committee, and the Beautification, Beautification Committee, established by the aforementioned resolutions, are hereby disbanded and shall have no such further function or authority to act as of the effective date of this resolution. And be it further resolved that the Another Right Committee is hereby disbanded and shall have no further function or authority to act as of the effective date of this resolution. And be it further resolved that any subcommittee previously established by any of the committees disbanded by this resolution shall have no further function or authority to act as of the effective date of this resolution. And be it further resolved that this resolution shall be effective on the date of the adoption. The motion was made. Is there a second? Second. The motion has been made and second. Is there a discussion? I would like to amend the motion to reinstate Governmental Affairs Committee. We need the Governmental Affairs Committee to represent us, to attend the whole town meeting to advocate for Galaxy residents, speak to the police and to the, protect, to the fire personnel, to keep us informed and to make sure that we use our constitutional right to vote for our leaders. We need to rely on members of this committee to coordinate efforts that result in large voter turnout. Regarding the town officials, when they get elected, this committee holds meet and greet seminars, allowing all residents to hear from and question these people. Turnout for these programs have been successful in the past. As part of a small community, we should want to know not only the thought process of town officials, but how and why they make decisions. We want to know what kind of additional constructions and construction is planned, what services are being added, what crimes are being committed that can harm us, what safety measures are being employed and how all this will affect our tax rate. We need to know all this to make sure that our investment, our home, and our family are secure. That is why I think the existence of Governmental Affairs Committee is very important and necessary for the others. Any further discussion? Uh, it's very clear that we're all concerned with taxes, we're all concerned with schools, we're all concerned with uh, uh, many issues that most Americans are on about their communities. Um, we need an advocacy group here to keep the politicians straight, to make sure that galaxy interests become a priority with the members of the committee and the ownership. That being said, people that are town officials and politicians shouldn't be on that committee or be allowed to be on that committee because they have a vested interest because they're part of a political party and their first allegiance is to their job, okay? People always go where their bread is buttered and if you're a politician, you're gonna be owing the people who put you in office before you owe the people of the galaxy. So that being said, I support uh, the motion but I believe that 
uh, anybody who's a town official should not be included, no matter who, what side they're on. Yes. Um, on this motion, I want to say, the first committee I was on was the Governmental Affairs Commission, and I attended those committee meetings, and I believe that the function of that committee was to go to town events and report back to the board on those events. Sadly, that committee, like a lot of the other committees, had morphed into something else. Recently, that committee had used mailers to the residents of the galaxy and blatantly lied to them to tell them that they were going to have an 18% increase in their taxes without any proof. It was all fake. It was just to get people elected. It's a free country. <laughs> so, I mean, it's actually a liability in the galaxy's eyes to have a political, a political um, committee like that that's advocating for certain people that were actually sitting on the board right now to get elected for school board. I mean, it's actually wrong in my eyes and actually a liability on the galaxy as a business level to allow stuff like that. A lot of these committees were doing a lot of things that left, left the galaxy open to liability and God knows we paid our share in lawsuits and tried to, to limit how much exposure we have I really don't believe this is the time to, to operate a, a governmental affairs committee. If we just don't have the personnel, I, who, who do you support? If you're here today, who do you propose for a chair? Okay, so. <coughs> this is completely incorrect. Yeah. They Agenda, 
and they may put items forth that are their own fears, say a tax increase, say a school being built or addition or school closing or, or, uh, or uh, a big project being planned. You know, so you get their own, you'll get their interpretation when they go to the meeting and sometimes of what their fears are. So, I mean, to go and designate, we, if we went and made a committee for every item, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of reporting. Uh, so I'm, I'm really not, I'm not necessarily in favor of, of, uh, of reinstituting, uh, reinstituting another committee uh, to go and, and do what I would like to do myself, and that's attend the meeting myself so I can find out myself what is going on in the meeting. I don't need somebody to do that for me. Appreciate it. You're the only politician that's ever been a politician that I actually like. <laughs> <laughs> I like it too, Rich. But uh, the reality is, is that politics makes for strange bedfellows, and, and the political process is, is by definition, filled with bias. Uh, what a government affairs committee uh, does is encourage people to partake of that process. Embrace dialogue, negotiate differences, and do what's right for the galaxy, because somebody's got to do it. And, and we have to embrace the idea of us participating in our future, whether it be taxes, better schools, cleaner, cleaner streets. We Mike, have to be, Mike, I don't know what happened to the microphone, but I can talk loud. Uh, yes, you can. The, the reality is, is that we have to have, a, 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 we should have, we should have a, 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 a group that represents the interests of the galaxy and embraces the idea of the galaxy participating in the political process so that we can get what's best for us, our community, and our families. respond to just something I heard uh, because I remember um, what happened just a little bit differently. Um, elected officials were invited to this meeting also. They didn't show up. I don't even think they responded. What's so, up to this uh, talk about the uh, yes. Thank you. They, they were talking about um, sending uh, students to uh, North Bergen schools rather than Gutenberg schools. So what they, they went on with the, with the meeting and I think it was important because there was conversation about sending students to North Bergen and I, I even heard a committee was set up to investigate it. So it was important information that was brought to homeowners. If the elected officials or school board officials or president didn't show up, that's that's just the way it is. So this is how I remember things. Yes, sir. Yes. That is correct, but you just said that is correct. There was no letter again was sent from a government after his committee to anybody. And since a board member is accusing a committee on his formally request the board president that this letter will be presented to the board and be published in weekly office because uh, this is not right that the board members accuse the board of the committees. We, are, we have to work with committees. Committees uh, basically are best way of getting input from the homeowners. And also there was a meeting. In that meeting, the candidates for the school board, they, they talk and that was their point of view. They brought up what they knew and they invited the, the town officials and other candidates, but they chose not to come and not to talk to Galaxy. And even they didn't consider even to talk to, uh, to us as a candidate, but they wanted to get our vote. And that was the problem. Yes, yes, I yeah, I just wanted to um, clarify. Um, Richard, the meeting that you're saying that was communicated to the residents 
that was sponsored by the Governmental Affairs Committee. That's the one you're talking about, right? So, okay, so, uh, so here, when I bring in the slip, are you going to make the picture frame for it? Because it's going to go on the wall. Okay. So, yes, but you ask, I don't have the copy of that letter, so, so I want, I'm, no, you ask me. So I'm asking Justin to produce the letter, and I, I don't know if it's appropriate to distribute it in a weekly update. Um, I, it was not appropriate. No, it's not appropriate. I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you that's not appropriate. So we will ask for it. We will look at it as a board. If you brought to us, we will look at it. We will uh, we'll make it available. If it's available. It's well, not, but we're not question. going to distribute it in the week. I call the question, Wayne. The question has been called. There's a motion on the floor to amend them to amend it. I believe everyone has had a, has a chance to talk. Richie, you're the only one who hasn't spoken. If you would like to say something, the floor is open for you. Other than that, the question has been called. So the first motion on the floor is the amended motion to reinstate the government and fellows committee. So all those in favor of the amendment, raise your hand and say aye. Those opposed? Abstain? The motion does not carry. The next motion on the floor is for the um, current resolution um, as it was originally read. Those in favor, raise your hand and say aye. The original motion as it was read. Those opposed? No abstentions. The motion carries. I make a motion for administrative resolution number nine, establishment of the SPA committee. Whereas, Article 4, Section 1 of the Association Bylaws state, the property affairs and business of the association shall be managed by the Board of Directors, which shall have all those powers granted to it by the Articles of Incorporation, the Master Deed, the Bylaws, and the Bylaw. And whereas, Article 5, Section 1, Paragraph uh, 5 of the Bylaws authorizes the Association's Board of Directors, the Board, to create, appoint members to, and disband such committees as in this discretion of the board determines are needed to assist it and whereas the board recognizes that a viable system of standing committees is needed to aid the board in, in its works and to enable the, the members of the association to contribute towards the welfare and lifestyles of all the galaxy owners and residents and whereas the board recognizes the need to provide the board with updated information and recommendations regarding spa activities, conditions, rules, and equipment from the user's point of view. And whereas, on April 7, 2005, the board adopted an administrative resolution of a nine establishing the spa committee, and whereas the board now wishes to amend administrative resolution number nine to update it to consist, consistent with current board practices and procedures. Now, therefore, therefore be it resolved that the board amended administrative resolution number nine establishing the spa committee the committee to read as follows. Duties. The primary responsibility of the committee is to advise and assist the board in developing and improving spa activities and equipment. The committee shall perform such other functions and take such other responsibilities that, as may be directed or approved by the board. Organization. Chairperson. The chairperson of the committee shall be appointed by the board, the chairperson. The chairperson shall serve for one year term ending on December 31st of the calendar year for which the chairperson was appointed. In the event that, the, the, that a successor chairperson is not appointed until after July 1st of the succeeding calendar year, the term of the chairperson shall extend until the chairperson's successor is appointed. In January of each year, or at such time as the chairperson's position become vacant, and the committee members herein defined shall nominate a chairperson, the nomination shall be submitted to the board for consideration. The board may accept or reject the recommendation of the board of the committee and may constitute its own choice for chairperson. In case where a co-chairperson is approved by the board, all meetings must be jointly called by the both chairpersons. All written communications with the board must be signed by both chairpersons, but only one chairperson will attend meetings of the board when requested to report on committee activities. The board may remove and replace a chairperson with or without cause at any time. Membership, the committee shall be composed of up to eight members, the majority of whom shall be owners. The remaining members shall be made up of the, the permanent adult residents of the galaxy. 
Members shall be appointed by the board for one year term expiring 30, the 731st of the calendar year for which they were appointed. In the event that a member is not appointed until after January 1st of the succeeding calendar year, then the term of the, the prior member shall extend until the member's successor is appointed. Early each calendar year, a newly appointed chairperson shall recommend to the board for its consideration proposed members for the calendar year. The board may accept or reject those rem recommendations of the chairperson and may substitute its own choices for members of the committee. Members must re maintain regular attendance at the committee meetings. If a member misses four consecutive committee meetings or is not current for 30 days on all billable charges due to the association, i.e. For, for maintenance, garage, garage, cable, spa, covenants, etc., the member is deemed automatically removed from the committee without further action by the board and must reapply to the chairperson for membership. The board may remove and replace members with or without cause at any time. The board may fill vacancies on the committee at any time during the calendar year. Recorder. The chairperson shall designate a recorder from among the members of the committee. The recorder shall be responsible for producing committee meeting minutes, maintaining committee correspondence, preparing written recommendations, and in general, maintaining and filling in all committee documentation and data, meeting minutes if applicable, and a monthly summary of committee activities shall be forwarded to the board through the secretary of the board monthly by the 14th day of the month, the month of summary. Subcommittees, from time to time, and as necessary, a committee may create ad hoc subcommittees from among its members. Each subcommittee must have a specific written goal and objective approved by the committee. The chairperson shall designate subcommittee chairperson. No person who is not a board appointed committee member may serve on a subcommittee. Meetings. Meetings shall be held as often as needed to carry out assignments and responsibilities. Regular monthly meetings are anticipated except during July and August. Only the chairpersons may call meetings. Two business <coughs> days prior to notice by email shall be deemed sufficient notice. The presence of a majority of the members shall constitute a quorum. Subcommittees shall meet as often as needed to complete their tasks. Members may not vote or act otherwise by proxy, but may vote by email and participate in subcommittee meetings by phone. A copy of the minutes of each meeting must be submitted to the Secretary of the Board together with the summary of activities as provided in paragraph three above. Subcommittee function. function. The committee shall access the conditions and needs within its areas of responsibility in order to propose for board adoption detailed plans of action to achieve community goals and objectives. In addition, the committee will take action or perform studies and research as the board may direct by written communication. The committee shall have no authority to enter into any contract, incur any debt, or otherwise bind or act on behalf or and in the name of the association. All such commitments must be approved by the board or general manager if authorized and signed by an officer of the board or the general manager if authorized. Chairperson function. The chairperson will manage meetings of the committee and supervise, supervise it, its activity to assure that the committee responsibility, responsibilities are met. The chairperson will review all reports prepared for the board by the reporter and will coordinate committee budget and fund requests. Channels of communication. All general communication with the board will be in memorandum form and signed by the writer and the chairperson. All suggestions to the board action must be directed to the secretary of the board and reviewed by the board. That concludes the resolution. That's the Is there a second? Is the <coughs> to approve is remain second. Is there any discussion? No draft of this resolution were sent to the committees for their comments. These resolutions appear to have been drafted without any input from the committees. Therefore, I would like to amend the motion, to, to table the motion, to send it to the committees and get the input from the committee members before I vote on it. Right. Is there any further discussion? I would like to table the, this uh, committee, the motion for uh, approving these ARs, to send all these ARs to all the committees that they are involved to get the input from the committee's members. 
how can we just have a very good on that? Did it before knowing what, what is their opinion? Let's get their input. I remember when we started this war, we said the direction that we are going to have is going to, to get more input and involve more, more homeowners in the decision making. So how come we're going to vote on that without getting the input from the committee members about this? Of the data uh, okay, yes, I, I don't know what committee she's referring to, Senator, to, but um, myself personally, we have right now so many projects that need to be done. There are a multitude. To me, to look at this, I, I can almost support Samuel, not for the reasons you suggested, Samuel, not at all. But for the reason that we have so many projects that we are working on, so many projects that we still haven't gotten off the ground yet, that latest spot is just atrocious, it needs to be done in the worst damn way. But I mean, I don't know, I'm a little bit concerned that if we go and establish a committee to think of more projects that need to be done, Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Can, can we About things Richard. and probably agreeing that we're going to vote on. Absolutely wrong. This is it. And I hope all the homeowners who watch this Richard. find out what's going on. Richard. We had a discussion in a working session. You even mentioned venting the heat from the lobby out into the vestibule. We had yeah. this discussion. You participated. Wait, if you think this is adequate to just bring these bids on, then you are sorely mistaken. You said it was a blanket of heat that comes out like on Park Avenue. You were actually not. not. So, so you're you talking about an air? No, we no, I have a right to see bids ahead of time. Yes. yes. It's true. Come on. I, I'd like, I this had, is I how had, you're going to keep running. No, no, I, I had my hand raised since he started talking. That, he was talking, he talked over me. I'm not going to be talked over. This, this was. No, when I get angry, and this is how okay. you, you, oh, the secretary I mean, of the board, the secretary of the board, brings this on the board. It's not right. I, I hope people get the happiness. Good. And also, I think there is a board within a board that we, I don't, I'm not part of it. I'm not. And I'm not part of it. And and the thing is, I haven't seen the bids, and this is not the first time that it's happening. And that is the, that is, I didn't see the bids, and this is not the first time that it's happening. This is not acceptable. Right. And another problem that we have as a secretary, why don't you put it down? What is it? What has been discussed in the working session? So it's your responsibility, your actually, is to make the bids. Not working. It's not working. Can you give me a wait? I think they're all. No, it's on. It just went off. So, sorry, just here. No, no, okay, wait. This one's working. So, as a secretary, it's your responsibility at least to write down to have a minute of the working session that you're going to say, okay, in that working session, we discuss that. Everything that we say we have in here, then you're going to say, oh, yes, we discussed it. No, that is not acceptable. I, I have honestly, got a very good, excuse me, okay. I haven't finished. Somebody. So I have got a very good memory, and I don't remember that. And I'm not going to vote on something right, that okay. I haven't discussed. But this okay. is not right. I honestly, I honestly, my God, 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 my
and part of what he's saying is, is correct. But, I mean, we have, we have a problem here because you walk inside our towers, there's no heat. You expect people, I know some directors expect people to stand outside by the door and you're not even providing them with heat. Shame on that. Shame on that. Thank you. Shame on that. Shame on that. I would have put you out there. I would have put him out there. I would have put him out there. But the bottom line is, the bottom line is, Richard Miller does have a point. Yeah. I mean, we did discuss, <laughs> we did discuss in detail the heat situation there. And there were, there were conversations about, about the heat is so strong over by the mailboxes. Can we arrange it over, put it over? Outside to the into the uh, into the entrance way, but and, you know we, we're looking at numbers here, and I, I love Efco. I mean they, they do a fabulous job, and the fact that they're the lowest bidder, I'm all in favor of going forward with it. But he is making a valid point. If he didn't even <laughs> see the bid, he didn't see anything. I mean, can we arrange it so that we can review this and quite possibly? have a vote on it tomorrow after everyone reviews it so that we can give the people that work here the heat so that they, they're not sick. Thanks a lot of sense. Thanks a lot of sense. I'm going to make that a motion. Actually. I haven't been recognized since I made the motion. I demand And you still are recognized.
So for you to tell all the residents that this you never heard about this, that this was never discussed, but we all gave a red to the daughter of the engine. You didn't say that. You didn't say that. It's not working at all, daughters. You guys are just blatantly lying to everybody right now. And I, I, can't take, I can't take the lies. If you guys didn't lie like this about everything, I'm you should be recalled. You should be recalled. Wait, wait, wait. No, you all should be recalled. You vote for my money. You vote for my money without anything. You, you don't decide on our money. Okay, please, please. I make a motion. something as important as heating the lobbies and one of the coldest winters that we possibly had because the board can't can said that they didn't get this in a timely fashion. We have an emergency with no heat. That's actually a, a, it's a legal liability. Why was we need to have to us We need to have a you have a no heat inside building and you're asking employees to work in. Okay, so wait, had, I'm sorry. We've had I'm breaking the fiduciary responsibility that everybody wants to throw around all the time. So I, I'm not in favor of any tabling of any emergency heat replacement. The motion no. was made to table. Twenty four hours. Yes. For ten years we did a round two. Please. All those in favor of tabling, raise your hand say aye. All those opposed. All those abstain. The motion carries the table. Twenty four hours. With the contract tomorrow, we will call for an email vote. Yeah, no, that has to be solved. He's right. Motion to approve. So everyone review it. Everyone has time. We did discuss it, but we haven't seen the details. So we're going to review it. We will call for a vote and email one on the motion tomorrow. Motion to approve a change order for structural, for the additional concrete repairs in a total of 6250 and installation of five new drains for a total of 15000 Total change order is $21,250. The motion was made for the change order to finish the, the concrete work in the garage. It is sold at $21,250. Um, is there a second? The motion been made and second. Is there a discussion? Yeah. Yeah. Great. That's a great book list. That's all everybody behaves. I have to say, just to be fair, we just got these prices in the closed session. We we did get it. I walked the garage with Darcy when we're doing the punch list, and these things are very badly needed because we finished the floor, and there's still some ceiling work that has to be done because something got lost in the translation. It wasn't it wasn't given to the board to do a lot. It was 50 square feet. It should have been a change order when the contractor was working, but that's the past. It's before Dorothy was here. So yes, we did get this tonight, and I had previous time to consider it since I walked with Dorothy about a week ago and then several weeks ago. And when we walked in the garage and we had all the flooding because of leaks um, in the garage from the mall because of the cold weather, we saw where all the water was uh, pooling, so we do need those extra drains. So uh, I'm just uh, just telling everybody, to be honest, we did get this, and there was minimal discussion on it. Good motion. Good motion was made. Good motion was made. Second, discussion. Call question. Call question. Yes. Question has been called. Anybody who has not spoken English to speak. Okay, so, yes, listen. Hello, hello, okay. So that's the final order, um, that's the final item on the agenda tonight. The only other item is the motion to adjourn. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Motion to make a second. I move to table our time. All those in favor? Aye. 
I, the motion, we're adjourned.